Hello, good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Welcome to the Little Farmer's Farm with me, Guru Mafenda. This is a mix mash of uh, what's been going on for the last five days. I've been working dead hard, like really, really long hours these last five days, and uh, so I've not had a chance to put any videos up. But we have been doing bits and bobs down on the little farm, so this is that episode that you're going to be watching now. Hope you enjoy it. If you do like it, please comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification button and um, then click on all so you don't miss another exciting episode from the Little Farmer's Farm down at the Eden Plots. Now, you can crack on with this. There's lots and lots of bits and pieces. Uh, Julia's come down from Julia's Gardening Diary. Uh, Magic Mix there. Um, there's a bit of the wise old elf, I think. Certainly references to him. And uh, yeah, so uh, this is a Friday morning vlog, so uh, please enjoy, and I'll see you at the end. All right, bye bye. So yeah, um, we've got Julia from Julia's Gardening Diary. She's uh, she's coming down seeing us today. We went over with the boys. Well, I went over with the boys yesterday uh, to check out her her plot. If you haven't seen that one then uh, it's a little homestead that she's got over there on the Yorkshire border and it's a fantastic little uh, little setup she, that she's got and uh, a lovely a lovely family so she's coming down you'll see Julia down in Eden I better give it a bit of a tidy up I've only just landed it's uh, it's 10 o'clock and I've only just come down I've had loads of stuff to do this morning before I got down here so I'll have to have a bit of a clean round although she probably have to just stick us as, as, as we find us Julia as, as you find us um, you know, better off being honest, better, better off having a bit of reality in it. So, uh, anyway, we'll crack on. She should be down in about another half an hour. So, uh, yeah, you'll meet Julia if you've not met her before. All right. See you in a bit. Right, you're on. Hello there. Hello. <laughs> so we're down in Eden today with Julia. Yeah. And Tony. Tony's going to give us a, a guided tour of Eden. We are. Where would you like to start? Shall we start with the potato bed? Yeah. Add it in front of us. Get rid of this uh, air feed. Fine, healthy looking potatoes you've got there. Well, these are the Desiree. Nice. Um, are they the Desiree? Yeah. So we've got Desiree in there. We've got Sarpo Mira that I've planted in here, but I've planted these ones in here probably about four weeks after those those have been in the ground now for about six weeks and we're this bed it's bed number one on our plots uh, and this is on plot 36 which is our original bed which is right on right in front of the tiki hut yep. so the tiki hut it's like visiting the uh, the the nasa film set where they fake the moon landings <laughs> They're all plastic, these, uh, Julia. <laughs> I'll just pause this for a sec. Now, unfortunately, that is all the footage that I shot with Julia from uh, Julia's Gardening Diary. We've done a film with her previously. We went to, went to see her plots over on the Yorkshire, Lancashire border. She's on the Christian side, obviously, not the pagan side. So she's a good Lancashire lass. Um, she's done uh, probably about a 30 minute, 30 odd minute video from when she came down and shot um, the plot tour that I gave to her on that day. Uh, so I'll put the link to that below and uh, so you can go and check it out. It's a good one. Anyway, moving on, we'll crack on. Um, I didn't want to steal the thunder from Julia's visit. We had a, we had about three hours together chatting away. She was eating um, um, meat and potato pies from Green Alches in Wigan. She had uh, egg custards and she had proper vimto. She had a Lancashire feast, courtesy of the Guru, and uh, we had a good we got, we had a good morning morning stroke afternoon. Come down for about three hours. So yeah, go and check Julia out. She's a good girl. And uh, I'll show you the rest of it now. So uh, stay tuned for the rest. As I say, it's going to be a big one tonight. We're filling in five days worth here. But I hope you enjoy it. All right, boys and girls. See you in a bit. 
Oh yeah. I've just found something really uh, out of a furry tail. Can't believe it. I'll show you. Look at that. Now that's not uh, edible, I wouldn't have thought. But it's just growing in here with all the uh, lettuces and brassicas that we've got. From wayward potato plants, it's just there. I'm going to get that out, let you have a look at it. Put my gloves on for that one, I think. Look at those monstrosities. Same sort of a pale, creamy coloured innards to them, with a fins are. I used to know the name of these, like, you know, the different parts of the mushroom. I used to know the names of them years and years and years ago when I was in Scouts, but I can't remember now. If anybody has any ideas what they are, they're obviously not edible. I wouldn't chance that whatsoever. <laughs> um, but yeah, let us, let us know on them. They're massive. <coughs> so that's something out of a fairy tale. I wonder if they've crept over from the uh, wise old elf's side. Any bigger, you could be you could be sitting on them, couldn't you? Anyway, onwards and upwards. So we're going to be harvesting again tonight on the alliums. I need to clear space in uh, one of the onion beds and get them all out. Onions and garlic, I think, is in the, the, is in the uh, because I've got to get the pak choy in. The pak choy, joy choy, has got to go in because they're turning into they're like baby pak choy now. But they need another five or six weeks, probably probably, probably about four to five weeks actually to mature into full grown pak choy plants, and uh, so that's what we're going to be doing today. I said we're going to take some more of those onions. They're ready. So we might as well. And we need the space. We need the net over the top of the pak choy because they're a, a brassica. They're a cruciferous vegetable. And uh, the cabbage whites will love them. They'll be all over them. So we're, we're going to get them into netted protection. And, uh, and see how we go. Right. I'll catch you in a bit. They're coming out, so I'd better get the plucking started. So there's about 40 Electra onions there. The good, the bad and the ugly. They'll all go down the same route into my belly. And there's around the same of the pink germador garlic. As you can see there. Now... They're going to be cut down into stick grenades, so we're going to leave about 8 inches of stem, cut the rest of it off. It's all got the um, the rust on it, the leaf rust, which we don't want. It's a windborne sort of a, what would you call it, a, a mould I think it is. It's, it's undesirable anyway. It's some sort of an infection. Doesn't doesn't disturb the the actual uh, root, the bulb, but it's quite unsightly, and we don't want it. So we'll get shut of that. We'll leave, we'll leave them into little sticks, dry them out, and uh, then we've got garlic for days. There, there's forty cloves there. We got about twenty odd the other night. Decent uh, decent bulbs. So yeah, we'll have enough there to last us for quite some time. I'm starting some more off anyway uh, in a couple of weeks. But we'll have enough there to, to last us, probably, our family. Um, 60 bulbs, let me have a think. It's going to be at least six months worth that. I would say six months worth of garlic there from the 60. If not more, for us lot. So, yeah, happy days. There we are, that's the idea. Flat, straight and level as ever. And just keep on filling that up. I think we've got um, 
How many, how many, how many onions have we got in there? Five, ten, fourteen. So there's fourteen there that are drying off. I'll probably get another um, twenty-four in there on that one rack. I've got another rack I can put there. So all together, we'll have around about eighty onions drying off there, and then they can be strung like Joe was showing before, just to string them up and keep, snip them off as you need. Right. Excellent stuff. I like that actually, that rack idea along here. Because I don't need it for the hanging baskets, these need to be watered again today. I didn't get to them last night. Get some water into them, the curly. Maybe get some Epsom salts into the mix as well. In fact, I will get some Epsoms because they've been fed the other day, so they're all right. But need some Epsoms, Epsom salts to assist the leaves, or maybe some uh, bicarbonate. Is it bicarbonate soda, baking soda, baking soda? Isn't it? Anyway, onions. Hmm, like it, like the rack. Like the rack, love the trampoline frame polytunnel. It's the way forward, for sure. So we put the uh, pack joy in. Professors there and Cooper Man across. Gentlemen, simply lovely. Plenty in the tank. Um, so we're getting the pack. Look at that lettuce there. One lettuce, that. <laughs> Is that off one, that? It's just one lettuce. One, one station, that. One in that bag, one in that bag. Super. So, uh, yeah. We're, we're getting the pack joy in. I'm just going to water them in now. I put a bit of um, lime at the, at the base in the planting station, just a sprinkle of lime. Not even a full teaspoonful, really, about half a teaspoon of lime. This bed's got plenty of um, nitrogen in it. It's got a lot of horse manure, and organic, um, organic. Give it a bit of a water in. So it's quite damp anyway. When I put them in, I took them out of the little um, pots that they were in. Teased the, teased the roots out slightly, so my finger was over the lens then. Teased the roots out slightly, and uh, and in they go. I'm going to cover them up now to keep the uh, the pesky birds and uh, cabbage white butterflies off. And the job will be a good one. They were starting to yellow off, as you can see there on the leaves, because they were just in the normal compost. There was no nutrition in the compost. Those pots that they were in. So now they're in. Hopefully, they'll green up again. Bit of a go at that, look. Some little, uh, little bug. So yeah, I'm going to cover them up now. Net them off. And there they are, safely tucked into their little bed. Now that's filling up half the bed. Around this side we're going to put beetroot and uh, maybe even the baby, on the baby onion starts again. On this side maybe. That's to be decided. I have taken the onions and garlic out of the. In fact, it was all onion, I think, in there. Um, no, it weren't. It was onion and garlic, weren't it? I think. I can't remember. So uh, I don't know whether to follow it on with alliums again, but mm, maybe. Or I might put I might put spinach and. Uh, yeah, I'll put spinach and beetroot in there. And the pak choy there. Now the pak choy is going to be ready in about three or four weeks. From that stage, I mean you can eat that now, but from that stage it'll be it'll be a full plant, a full adult plant uh, in about three or four weeks. That so probably um, by mid July. No, not even then. By the end of June, we'll be taking those out. And. Um, yeah, I'll just keep following on. We can get quite a few harvests out of one bed. We've worked out we could probably get three harvests if we time it right with the quick maturing stuff. 
out of each bed and it all adds up for your um, for your poundage at the end of the season the amount of weight that you've got out in vegetables at the end of the season quick growing stuff like that I mean your parsnips are slow growers they'll take you five or six months at least to get good parsnips out of them carrots will be just shy of three months yeah something like 10 weeks you can get it you can be getting the carrots out that's only a single one you'll not get more than one crop of uh, corn off in a year the spuds we're going to successionally and have been successionally planting anyway i'm rambling aren't I? so we've got more of the french climbing beans to go in the elven the elven beans the uncle joe from mexico beans they're going to be going in and uh, and also we've got the um, onions, which are the Elsa Craig onions. They are desperate to go in the ground as well. So we're going to be doing that. We're going to be pruning back on these um, tomatoes again, taking out some of the leaf, allowing them to spread the wings and get airflow going through there. I haven't been down for a couple of days, so things need what needed watering up and, um, and attending to. There's our onions drying off on there. All those uh, garlic that are down there, they were all the um, pink germador. So yeah, that's all pink germador garlic. What else have we got growing on that I need to attend to? And that's about it. At home we've got about 60 garlic. Um, So we've got about 60 bulbs of that, and um, there's probably another, another 20 there of the pink germador. So yeah, 80 bulbs of that. We've got all them onions there, which in about a week's time, or maybe maybe even this weekend, will be will be getting pulled out. <laughs> nice fat ones, nice fat ones in there. So that's me. I'm going to go to work now again. See you in a bit. Yeah, so that was snippets really from uh, the last five days. I've not been able to do too much over the last five days because of work. Excuse me. I've been eating um, spicy chicken wings. So, uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Um, we'll be back on the plots tomorrow night, Saturday, Sunday, all the lot. It's just in the week at the moment, it's dead hectic at work, so uh, you'll have to bear with me with that. But, um, yeah. God bless. Keep growing with your head down. I've been Guru Mafinda. You've been absolutely spectacularly wonderful as always. And um, we'll catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye, boys and girls. Mwah! Shout out.